On May 18, 1980, a major volcanic eruption occurred at Mount St. Helens, a volcano located in the state of Washington, United States. This eruption has been the only significant volcanic event to occur in the U.S. states, since the 1915 eruption of Lassen Peak, in California. It has often been declared as the most disastrous volcanic eruption in United States history. The eruption was preceded by a two-month series of earthquakes, also steam venting episodes, caused by an injection of magma at shallow depth below the volcano, created a huge bulge and a fracture system on the mountain's north slope. An earthquake at 8.32 a.m. on Sunday, May 18, 1980, caused the entire weakened north face to slide away, creating the largest landslide ever recorded. This suddenly exposed the partly molten gas and steam-rich rock in the volcano to lower pressures. The rock responded by exploding a hot mix of lava and pulverized older rock toward Spirit Lake, so fast that it overtook the avalanching north face. An eruption column rose 80,000 feet, or 15 miles, into the atmosphere and deposited ash in 11 U.S. states. At the same time, snow, ice and several entire glaciers on the volcano melted, forming a series of large volcanic mudslides. They reached as far as the Columbia River, nearly 50 miles to the southwest. Less severe outbursts continued into the next day, only to be followed by other large, but not as destructive, eruptions later that year. Approximately 57 people were killed directly. Included in this list are, innkeeper Harry R. Truman, photographer Reed Blackburn, and geologist David A. Johnston. Hundreds of square miles were reduced to wasteland, causing over $2.89 billion, thousands of game animals were killed, and Mount St. Helens was left with a crater on its north side. At the time of the eruption, the summit of the volcano was owned by the Burlington Northern Railroad, but afterward, the land passed to the United States Forest Service. The area was later preserved, as it was, in the Mount St. Helens National Volcanic Monument. Mount St. Helens remained dormant from its last period of activity in the 1840s and 1850s until March 1980. Several small earthquakes, apparently beginning on March 15, indicated that magma may have begun moving below the volcano. Then on March 20, at 3.45 p.m., a shallow magnitude 4.2 earthquake struck. Centered below the volcano's north flank, signaled the volcano's violent return from 123 years of hibernation. A gradually building earthquake swarm saturated area seismographs and started to climax at about noon on March 25, reaching peak levels in the next two days including an earthquake registering 5.1. A total of 174 shocks of magnitude 2.6 or greater were recorded during those two days. With that being said, we turn our attention to recent events as activities experienced have begun to mirror those in which were witnessed many years ago. More than 120 earthquakes have taken place during a seven-day period recently beneath Mount St. Helens. Beginning November 21, four swarms of small quakes were detected. The earthquakes were mostly small, magnitude 0.3 or less, with an average depth around 1 to 2 miles, were detected by the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network or even felt on the surface. It is theorized that the earthquakes are telling us that magma is in the process moving into the volcano, that fluids and gases are being forced to fill cracks beneath the surface and inducing the small quakes. In other words, the quakes indicate Mount St. Helens is subtly repressurizing. It is not an indicator of an imminent eruption so we are told, but it does serve as a simple reminder that things are still active down there and that Mount St. Helens will erupt again. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you agree or disagree with the information provided in this video, I would love to talk about it. Please post below. Make certain to like and subscribe. Share this video while you are at it. If you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. Have a great night guys.